one of the most exciting and fun things about the old and good Ragnarok Online was experience of the many classes and jobs. From the basic sword and board gameplay of the Swordman and Crusaders, the active support of the Acolytes, or the stealthy and bursty gameplay of the Assassin Cross, there's no shortage of any playstyles in this amazing classic MMORPG. And the Ragnarok Labyrinth still gives us some of this variety in the form of its many different classes and jobs, which can be very difficult to decide, especially if you are a beginner in the game. And that's why, in today's video, we'll give you a quick rundown of the different classes as well as their strengths and weaknesses. So without any further ado, let's start with the jobs. Unlocked from level 5, you can start your journey in this game choosing one of the 4 different jobs available. First, the Swordman is a strength-based fighter specialized in dealing crushing blows to the enemies. It has high HP and it's the job with the highest defenses, making them into the ideal tank of the group. They can stun enemies with the best skill and also deal mixed fire physical damage in the area with Magnum Break. Now the Archer is a high dexterity range fighter that can attack as low but hard. Dishing out tons of damage with every arrow. Their playstyle is very simple, which makes them a great job for beginners. Their kit is a well rounded as they have skills both for dealing high damage to single target as well as AoE capabilities to deal with crowds of enemies. Now the Magician is an intelligent based job that wields the powers of the elements to rain destruction upon their foes. And they are arguably one of the strongest classes in raw DPS, though they are quite squishy. And therefore, requires a caution playstyle to avoid getting overwhelmed by the enemy. And aside from destroying the enemy outright, they can also inflict effects such as freeze, stun or burning with their spells. And now the Chief is a high agility class that uses nimble movements and precision to land devastating blows to the individual targets. Their superior damage output makes them the go-to job for players who want to play a pure melee DPS role, and their high luck also helps them land plenty of critical hits with their skills and auto attacks. Their damage is further increased with their double attack skill, passively gives them a good chance of attacking an additional time with every melee hit. Available at level 30, the second transition allow players to further specialize their classes, either by focusing on the strengths of their current job or by adding a plethora of different abilities to their existing kit. And currently, there are 8 different classes for you to decide. And starting with the Swordman, it can transition into either a Knight or a Crusader. The Knight is an offensive-oriented job that changes some of its defenses to boost their damage output. Knights are all about moving around the stage on top of their trusty mount, picking off enemies one by one with their awesome speed and crushing blows. And using his concentration skill, the knight can further boost their damage by while reducing their defenses even more. Now the Crusader is the resident tank of the game, boasting a high specialized kit that allows them to tank most of the attacks or drawing the enemy attention to them. And they can also boost their attack damage temporarily and receive all the damage taken by their allies by using the sacrifice skill. Now the archer can decide to transition between the dancer or the hunter. The dancer is one of the classes that radically changes the playstyle of the initial job by offering tons of healing and support and less damage than the base archer. They are more about healing and buffing their allies, making them into a DPS healer hybrid. Nevertheless, they are the best healer in the game, so they are always a welcome addition to the group. Now Hunters, on the other hand, are the complete opposite. They have a kit that is very specialized for dealing with bosses, with lots of skills to deal deadly damage to single targets, or staying safe since they can attack from very far away. And even though they can already deal massive damage to individual enemies, they can also burst down large crowds with their arrow repel skills, which pierces all enemies in a straight line. Now the master of the magic arts, the magician, can decide to choose between the sage and the wizard. The sages is very similar to the dancer, as it changes the general playstyle of the base job. And this magic fighter combines powerful spells with devastating melee skills 
making them deadly in both ranged and melee combat. And wizards are the most logical next step to the magician playstyle, offering even deadlier elemental spells to destroy and obliterate everything on their path, to destroy and obliterate everything on their path. Further, to complete their already huge damage output, the wizard basic attacks are turned into ranged projectiles, letting them save some of their MP by picking the enemies from afar with simple auto attacks. Now last but not least, the thief can decide between the rogue and the assassin. The assassin are the best melee DPS in the game hands down, and this due to their mix of deadly poisons along with fast attacks that are stacked with their passive, which automatically increase their physical attack, critical rate and attack speed while wielding a dagger in each hand. And rogues offer a mix of ranged and melee combat, with a distinct focus on the latter. They can inflict stuns on their enemies at melee range and then retreat and turn them into pincushions using their double strafe skill. And it's very interesting to note here that, that rogues are great to farm since they can passive increase the drop rate of defeated enemies. So it's probably one of the both PvE classes in the game. That's it for the different jobs and classes on Ragnarok Labyrinth. So share with us in the comment section below what are your favorite ones so far. And remember that the best way to play this game is on your PC with keyboard and mouse and access to a ton of awesome features all thanks to Bluestacks. But anyway, that's it for today's video, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!